Hey everybody, it is me, Yo Yo Dine, speaking to you here in my own voice. What's up? It's been a bit. I haven't done any updates to YouTube in a while. I have taken the entire month of December off from streaming on Twitch. So this is just kind of a touchback on where I'm at and what's going on. First and foremost, I have not given up on streaming. I'm going to get back to streaming. There'll be some changes to what we're doing and we're going to get into that. But the channel will be active again starting in January. And I'm going to be updating and playing around with my schedule just to try to accommodate some changes in how I'm going to be approaching streaming, how I want to do things my way, and also changes to my lifestyle that I want to really be able to incorporate into this. That way I have the time I need to do these things and to share some of those experiences with you. So first thing people are going to notice when we get the stream back together is I have left the Twitch affiliate program for a lot of reasons, but the big ones primarily being that number one, I have not agreed with a lot of the changes Twitch has made in the last six, six months to a year, really, where I'm finding it is becoming much less serviceable to the community and much more serving to some bean counters somewhere in the Amazon corporate headquarters. It's gotten to a point where they keep implementing these changes which are punishing of the community and implementing these changes that are serving someone, certainly serving someone, I don't know who, but they're serving someone, and I don't feel served by it. I really don't. I feel like a carpenter who's being told my hammer is now Bluetooth enabled, but I can't hit a nail anymore. So that's part one of that. Part two is I don't feel comfortable helping support the monetization of Twitch anymore. I don't really want to go and let them be making that money off of me as an affiliate because, you know, affiliates only earn about half of whatever sub gets them. That sub button benefits Twitch more than it benefits me. And that, that doesn't sit right with me either. So of the many ways that Twitch can be monetized, and they are, you know, there's bits, there's advertisements, there's the perks where you can buy things to not have to see the advertisements. The only one that I can control is the subscriber button. So I'm opting out of that for two reasons. The first I've mentioned is, is I don't want to help fund them. And the second is I don't like that it puts me in competition with people who actually need those funds. You know, at the end of the day, the money I'm getting from Twitch on any given month, on a good month, if I got, you know, let's call $120, $200 at the end of the, the month, right? That doesn't affect my bottom line. I am in a very privileged and good position in life where unlike a lot of younger people who are struggling and using Twitch as a means to make rent or eat, you, know, you don't want to know the number of communities I'm in where I'd be like, hey, give me your Venmo, go get food because they're desperately waiting for that thing to come through, especially in this last year with COVID. I don't like thinking that I've been set up to be in a position where I'm competing with them for someone else's prime subscription. You know, that, that money for me was fun money. It was beer money. Uh, some months it was charity donation money, but now looking at it from the lens of seeing people who are really, really struggling to make ends meet, I don't like being in competition with them. That's not a race I want to win. That's not a race I even want to be in. And sort of going back to my 1980s roots, as with so many of the jokes and puns on this channel, the only way to win that game is to not play. So I'm stepping out of it. And thankfully, I can do that. Now, what does this mean to the channel? We're going to find out. You know, I had the option to leave per the affiliate agreement. We There was always the option for Twitch to cancel with me or for me to cancel with Twitch. That street went two ways. Having now pulled that trigger, I'm waiting to see what it's going to look like when I start streaming again. And maybe we won't have all the emotes we had before. Maybe they'll still be there. I don't know. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. That's probably the biggest thing you're going to see different there in terms of formatting. I have been taking my physical health a lot more seriously. I know if you've been following on Twitter, and if you haven't, why not? <laughs> I'm kidding. There's been this whole PUBG workout thing. I'm gonna be incorporating a lot of that into my night. That's like a daily routine. It's two days on, working out, and then one day of rest. The rest days will probably be another game, but there's gonna be a lot of just sort of me hanging out with friends and doing that and working out. And if you wanna work out along with, please do. 
And if you want to have alternative exercises that you can do with, please ask. I am happy to provide that information. I would love for people to be able to get the same sort of benefits I'm getting out of this. Uh, in terms of physical activity, in terms of uh, scheduling and discipline, in terms of just sort of meeting my goals for fitness. So that has been a big change there. Um, I think that's pretty much it. We're going to be seeing those formatting changes. We're going to be seeing the changes because we're going to be affiliate and stream should begin. If not on January 1st, definitely immediately after on January 2nd. We'll be coming back into it in January of 2021. And we're going to see where this year takes us. This is going to be an interesting new direction for the channel. And I know there's going to be a lot of people asking questions. They're saying it's a step back, but I think this is a way forward. I really do. And if nothing else, it's a way for me to approach the content creation process in a way that isn't going to be causing me anxiety, isn't going to be causing me stress, and certainly isn't going to be making me, making me feel like I am taking away from someone else, which is it's a big deal. It's a big deal. And the good news is, of course, if we want to do charity streams, we can. We can still do those charity drives and just point people towards the links in the charities. I don't need people to put that money through me. You know, I don't need that. I don't need the ego boost. So I, I'm happy to do good where I can. And I think this is the right way to do it, both for myself and for others. So we'll see where it pans out. We'll see where it pans out. Other than that, I'm looking forward to doing some PUBG workouts with you all in 2021. I'm looking forward to some more factories. I'm looking forward to breaking some more ships. Let's see where it takes us. Talk to y'all soon.